In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie the fastest loop knot for fishing. And this knot is so quick, what I'll do is, I'm gonna first just tie the knot and show you just how quick it is. Then, I'm gonna slow it down so you guys can learn how to tie this. This is called a canoeman knot or the Mickey Mouse knot. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna try to tie this knot quick as possible looking through the camera. All right, so what you wanna do is take your fishing line right here, tag end right here, main line's right here. Make a loop, make a loop, just two loop. Take the second loop, put it through the first loop, all right? Put the tag in a little bit. Then you take the tag in, stick it through the eye of the jig or whatever hook you're using. Then you take the tag in, put it through that one loop you made and pull, 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 pull. And I am pretty much done without sizing too much, right? This is pretty much done. That's so quick. Then you just take your scissors and Trim, you're ready to fish. Look at that, tell me that was quick. You ready to learn this loop knot? Let's go. But let's take a quick close look to this. If you guys are good with your knots, this is basically a bowling knot. Just tied in a specific way where it's very, very quick. Right? It's actually very, very strong, especially if you are fishing with thicker line. I find this, uh, Mm, around 10 pounds and up, it works pretty good without slipping. But uh, I haven't tried thinner. I use other trusty, more trusty knots, such as the uh, Craze Loop Knot for thinner line. Anyway, let's do this tutorial. As I do this tutorial, I wanna let you guys know I'm a type of guy that like to use smaller loop knots because small loop knots are better than big loops. Big loops, it catches air, it catches water, it picks up debris. And um, I actually believe that smaller loops, right? And I'll show you right here. That's a big loop. See how weak it is, right? What happened is when you actually fish slack line on lighter jigs, it doesn't roll as great on slack line. So if you're actually fishing, let's say a fluke and you actually twitch and make the fluke dart around, it actually goes more wild if you have a smaller loop. See, when you have a small loop like this, you push it, right? It actually keep a structural integrity. Anyway, uh, that's just my opinion, but I do want to point that out because I do like making my loops very small. And as I show you how to tie this loop knot, I will show you exactly how to make your loops smaller. Anyway, let's get this tutorial started. What you want to do is take your line, tag ends here, main lines this side. You want to make your first loop by making this thing uh, wrap around or, you know, you just want to bend your line this way, kind of like a roller coaster. Main line is in the back. Tie again is on top. Do the same thing immediately right after that. So you have two side by side, thus it's called Mickey Mouse. Look at that, Mickey Mouse, huh? Anyway, you want to take your second loop, right? And you want to take that and put it in front, in to the first loop that you made, okay? Not from the bottom going up, top going down. Put it in just like that. Then you could take your thumb and pinch them all together. Then you could take the tag end, pull it just a little bit. What that does is it shrinks the first loop a little bit. And as you see, it's kind of holding that second loop a little bit better so it doesn't slip away. Now you take your lure and you take the tag end, thread it through, okay? Then you take the tag end and put it through that big loop that you made, which is the second loop, okay? That's the second loop. And you want to put it in from the top going in. All right, now you want to pull. And once you put them all close together like that, you can let go all those together, but you want to hold on to the main line and you want to pull a little bit. And once it gets um, a little bit tension, it'll snap a little bit as you saw, right? And from here, this is where you want to resize the loop, okay? When you pull your tag again, that actually shrinks the main uh, loop. And as you see, it's all bunched up together, but there are some line here. So when you actually pull the main line, you can see the loop is forming, right? And if you want that loop smaller, what you want to do is keep pulling that tag in, just like that. Everything's getting smaller, right? And up to a point where you're satisfied with your loop. And I usually have it around two times the size of the eye of your, um, your hook, okay? From right there, you always want to wet the line. Wet my line, right? 
then you just pull the main line and voila there you go take a scissor whatever your clippers are show me your tag again short and I like this over the Rapala knot because the Rapala knot is a slow tie knot and the Rapala knot the tag end actually points this way so when you're actually retrieving it picks up debris this tag end points that way so it picks up less debris so there you have it that's how you tie the canoe men's knot or the mickey mouse loop knot very quick and easy uh, i find this knot very very useful especially when the fish are biting i love to use this during the fall throwing swim baits like this i have a jig right here this is from i strike fishing and the swim bait is from x zone a swammer putting this loop knot on this jig right here will make this swim bait roll a lot more when you slow rolling this and it will entice the fish to bite. I thank you all for watching this tutorial. I hope you have found this tutorial very easy to follow and I wish everyone luck in catching their next big fish using a loop knot.